Hello and welcome back to Mastering AWS featuring SQS. Today we are going to use SQS with SNS. Now, as we know, SNS stands for Simple Notification Service and SQS stands for Simple Queue Service. So the first thing that we need to do is click Simple Notification Service and we need to create a topic. And to do that, we click Create Topic, give it a topic name, of Udemy. Display name will say Udemy. Click create topic. The topic has been created. Now we need to go back over to SQS and click that. And we're going to create two queues. They're both going to be standard. We'll call them SQ1. Click create. We see that one there. We're going to create another one called SQ2. Again, that is going to be a standard queue with all defaults. And now that we have them both created, we are going to check them both and then subscribe them to a topic. We're going to subscribe them to the Udemy topic. So we'll click subscribe and we get this subscription result. So we're just going to click refresh here. As you can see, they're both created here. The next thing we need to do is go back over to the SNS section, simple notification section, and we are going to go to publish a message. And what we usually need, what we do need is the Amazon resource name. So if I go back over to AWS SQS, actually that's not what I want. So I'm AWS SNS topics Udemy publish the topic this is a test and as you can see the topic Amazon resource name is already supplied for us this is a test that should work and let's click publish it says it was published successfully let's go to subscriptions uh, we have to worry about that Applications dashboard all right so let's click AWS and then go to simple queue service and as you can see we have two messages available and if we click on the first one and click view messages, start polling, we'll click more details. And as you can see, this is a test. This is a test that should work. That came from SNS. So as you can see how the two work in conjunction with one another, you can use SQS to fan out SNS messages. So the final thing that we want to make sure that we do is we want to delete the messages from both queues. So I'm just going to go in here and view, oops, I'm going to view. And as you can see, this is a message, the exact same message that was sent to the other one. So we're just going to delete that. Delete. And then one final thing, I do want to show you what happens if I create a message here. So as you can see, I have zero messages available. I'm just going to create, send a new message. This is a, this is the second message. And then we're going to click send messages, click close. And as you can see, only one message got sent to the SQ2. Okay, so let's go back and delete that message I just created, start polling, delete message. Yes, delete, we'll close out of there. Then I'm going to refresh one more time. And the final thing I wanna do is delete the queue. So just click queue actions, delete queue, Yes, delete two. 
and so that is it for this tutorial uh, the next lecture we will conclude everything that we've done in the console so thanks for watching and we will see you soon